So I have my first UFC 2022 prediction, bro. And here it is. Yes. Amanda yep. Nunes avenges her loss to Juliana <laughs> to Juliana Pena at the 135 pound range, wins it, and never fights 135 again. That that's right a, there. That's your thought. That's my two, you know, honestly, 2022 prediction. That's honestly, that's honestly one of those things that could happen. Um, yep. I don't know, RC. I don't know. I, when I look at the fight and I look at the two fighters. And, and again, like this is gonna, this is gonna, you guys are gonna do this to me again. But I, I just don't know. I don't know if you match him up again. I know Amanda would be a massive favorite. <laughs> I just don't know, dude. I, I just don't know, dog. I just don't know if she's gonna beat Juliana. It's just a matchup problem. I think it's just a again, matchup again. Problem. So. <laughs> I just because we will probably get Amanda back on. She's not gonna do our show. She's gonna feel like no, we gave her the. Tripping, we gonna feel like we, she's gonna feel bad. like we gave her the Madden curse because she's not no, gonna do our show. Tripping. But Ryan, Amanda, I'm just you, man. to be clear, to be clear, I want Amanda Nunes has no chance to beat I'm Juliana Pena. I'm not saying that. Okay, I'm just saying it's a hard fight if, because of the matchup. If, I, I, I know you probably won't be able to pick. If you think Amanda has a chance, I mean, if you if you, if you would pick Amanda, I want you to blink twice. Oh, that boy ain't blink. This, oh. this dude's so crazy. I wouldn't pick nobody. I can't pick the fight. You know that. All right. Well, Man, okay. Guys, well, you know is what? Is it my turn or do you go again? Is it my turn? It's or my turn. I'm just going to run through on. all of mine. Hold on. Let me just let me just jump back to one thing off of your point. Okay. And then we'll go four and four. Not only do I not believe my p- prediction, one of my predictions is not only do I not believe Amanda is going to win that belt back, I believe that Valentina is going to win that belt Ooh. And become the double champion Ooh. in 2022. That's, That's one of my bold That's predictions dope. for next year. I'm with that, that, DC. Valentina goes up and wins that championship belt at 135 pounds. I'm with that. So, so here, here's another one I have. Um, I have uh, Hazmat uh, Chimev. He's going to fight for the title. Oh, uh, come on. You think you think Hamzat's going to fight for the Hamzat's belt gonna, Hamzat Chim, uh, Chimaev, I'm sorry. Chimaev is going to fight for the title. Connor is going to return and have the biggest pay-per-view ever in the history of the UFC. Max is going to win the title by the end of the year. He's going to come off oh, of injury. Oh, wait, wait. And I he, can see it. I can see it. I can see it. Yep, I can see it. And Max is going to win. But the big one for me. <laughs> I see it. The one that I matters, DC, is when Darius submits <laughs> oh. Makachev. It's going to happen. Islam ask, is going to fall. And what are you going to do then, DC? What they, are you? They, they asked for bold. These are some bold predictions. Guys, put that back up there. Let me look at what this guy just threw out there, please. Nunez the Beast Pena, that's not that That far makes total fetched, sense. Considering she was 1,000, uh, uh, minus 1,000 in the first fight. The Chimaya fight for the title, not far fetched. Connor always has the biggest pay-per-views. So that's a pretty good one. The bottom one says that Holloway wins the uh, belt at the end Holloway, of the year, and okay, Benil Darius but Benil and, and did, uh, submits I mean, Islam Makachev. That that that's great. Not submit. Benil Darius can win the fight. He can win. Well, I just put. I just put. I just put. I just put. He defeats him. That was how I sent it, it over. So I had to add like the submit You're part, so crazy. like just to make it. Take. Just you've been on first take all. You've been on first take for weeks now, and you acted like it. Hey, yeah, you've been on first take for weeks now. You acted like it. Because you come up in here with your your look on okay, shimmying, coming out of your suit. Here's my five predictions, guys. Put that on the screen real quick, so I can I can tell Ryan. Not only look at your first does one. Valentina become double champion. Chimaev will be the number one contender. I don't know if he's going to have fought for the belt yet because I think that I'm hearing that he's fighting Gilbert Burns. If that's the case, then he'll be the number one contender, and he may fight for the belt by the end of the year. I believe that John Jones will fight at heavyweight. And he'll fight for the belt, but he'll lose to Cyril Gan or Francis Ngannou. And I just think that the time away with the weight difference and those guys being who they are, that's the problem. It's not that Jones has gotten worse. It's just that these guys are a different level of heavyweight. I believe that Henry Cejudo does fight again. So with that being said, I think that he does fight for a championship at either 135 or 145. And lastly, I think by the end of this year, Islam Makhachev is wearing that title. As much as I like Charles Oliveira, as much as I think that he's improved, I think that Makashev 
does so many things good, and he is so big, and he's such, in such great shape, and he presents so many different problems for these guys that by the end of 2022, Islam Makhachev will be holding the so, UFC lightweight so championship. DC, so, DC, what you're saying is after Dariush beats Makhachev, he goes on a run and gets back to win the championship because if you do not remember, no. my 2022 no. prediction was that he will lose the fight. And that's we, your prediction. <laughs> my, right. my, my prediction right, is though. he wins this one. This, <laughs> my prediction is he wins this one, right? Because you got to remember, they, he has Ramadan. So yes. after he fights here, he'll be out through the summer, RC. That is probably when Gaethje and Oliveira will do their thing. It will line up for them to fight towards the end of the year for the championship. And these are your predictions. Nunez defeats Pena. Okay. They used to finish my chef. Don't believe that. You and I agree on Hamza. Hamza Chamayev, yep. McGregor, I agree with you. Holloway wins the title by the end there. That's not too far fetched. You could see Max is the champ. Max is the greatest featherweight of all time, and he's still as good as he's always been. So, yes. And, and Ryan, he was getting another title fight. Yeah, he was. So it's like right there yeah. uh, to happen. Yeah, I think, man, I think you're wrong about the Makachev thing. I think your your view <laughs> of Islam is crowded the same as Daniel Orlowski's view is clouded about Matthew Stafford. Like, you guys just can't see uh, past your friendships. Uh, but, no, nah, honestly, man, I think your list is amazing. Uh, the one I found uh, very, very interesting was the Valentina Shevchenko point. That, I do what I'm telling you. That's that's actually that's actually one I didn't think of, but it makes so think much sense it. because she beat you would, Julian. Right. And too though, but you wouldn't have to make the Amanda Shevchenko rematch again. Nope. Right? You you can move you into not. a new fight uh for that belt. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.